So it's been a while since I've seen you. It's the middle of winter. Boat's in the garage. Uh, I have a new owner for the boat, my friend Jamie. He's got to take ownership. And uh, he wants to change some things around. He wants to drive the boat from the center. So we marked up this console out of cardboard. And uh, I'm going to build that out of plywood with uh, fiberglass cloth over that. And he's going to install a new motor and rigging. So that's going to give me a uh, garage space to start another project. So let's build this console now. So it's what it looks like. I'm going to take this apart now so I can um, use some of this as templates. Trace on my plywood. I'm using MDO plywood, half inch. Basics. So I'm going to make a left and a right one of these. Or starboard and port. So I think I'm going to uh, cut both sheets at the same time just to match them up easily as opposed to cutting one and tracing it onto the other one. So like I said this has one good side on it. One finished side. So I'm gonna put these opposed to each other. And you can either uh, clamp these together. I'm gonna use a nail. This track, you don't have to clamp this down, you can, but uh, it generally stays where it is. Clamp them. And we get 
two pieces. The console. Now we need the back piece. All right, so I'm going to rip the width right now, which is 18. track saw this just makes it easier table saw easy also if you get the shop room I just set this for half inch what I'm thinking about right there. I need a piece. Okay, I'm gonna cut that across. So I want to start assembling this console as I go here. So I want to attach this. This is like the backrest. Um, but to do that, I want to rip up some pieces of three quarter by three quarter, and those are going to get attached along these edges to uh, beef up that glue joint when I epoxy this together. If I didn't use anything behind there, you would just be getting this half inch on half inch. And by the time you round all those outside corners over, there wouldn't be anything left. So I'm going to rip up this poplar on the table saw. And I get that set up outside to keep some dust down. So let's go do that. Now that I got my three quarter stock milled up, I'm just gonna put that underneath there and trace these. And I'm gonna cut two of them. Exactly the same. Just put one on top of the other, chop those up on the miter saw, and do the same thing for that side. Okay. 
So I'm just fitting these three quarter pieces around the outside edge. Doesn't have to be that fancy. And I'm not measuring anything, I'm just holding up and marking it. I'll cut two at the same time. This is for length. That's what it is. Cut two of them. Okay, now that fits good. All right, I think that's all I need for now to put this together. I'm going to need something along this bottom that's going to mount it to the floor. Maybe something a little wider than this, though. Maybe like a two inch piece of stock. Like about this thick. That way I can get a screw down into the bottom of the boat here. All right, so right now I think I'll take care of tacking all these strips in place with the four penny finish nail and that way when I glue them with, with epoxy these go right back into place but I want to keep going uh, I don't want to glue anything right now I just want to keep cutting all my pieces side. All right, that didn't take long. All right, I'm going to cut some more pieces. Um, we can attach this. All right, just grabbed a couple clamps. tack this backrest on. right into the end grain of the lemon.
these other pieces. Across there. Good, that'll do both of those. this this most times when you're fitting something and you have a little room to play with well you always want to work from your miter outward because that way you match this up and you're trimming this later over the overhang much easier than um, from, trying to put from a certain point to a where I have no restrictions on either end that's what I want to do work away from so if I was going to put that there I have another piece coming up there I can mark this front angle. So I'm just lining up where those two pieces come together nicely. And this is what I'm going to cut off this flush. So something like this. Before I go too far, I am going to have a piece on the face out here, so I do have to compensate for that. So, I think I'll attach this piece because that's good to go. I'll fit something else underneath here. starting to get somewhere. So now I got to get this front piece made up. Uh, this is not going to be completely solid. I want this open. 
with a little bit of panel here so we can cut in some kind of box, glove box there. So I'm going to rip this piece 18 inches, last piece of plywood that I need. And we'll cut the height on it. See how that works. All right, let's nail that on. Ready to go on the boat for trials. All right, well that's a good start. I glue it up, sand it, route it, all those other things. That'll be next time though.